Today, you will be learning how you can make a mining simulator game on Roblox. Before this video starts, I want to give you guys a showcase of this beautiful simulator game. Over here, I am standing on all of the possible ores you can mine. Everyone gets a pickaxe, as you can see, this beautiful pickaxe. But now, the thing is, how do I mine this, newbie? So you see all of these ores, and what we can do, we can hold our pickaxe, and we can hover over all of the ores. As you can see, this is diamond, this is coal, this is gold, diamond, gold, coal, bronze, and emerald. These are all of the ores you can mine. So let's try to mine some coal. So we can do this, we can click, the animation plays, we are mining the coal. And as you can see, if we mine it more, uh, the block goes away, and we get a little bit of money. So let's try to mine some diamond. This is going to take a little bit. Because we have to um, mine 30 health with 2 uh, health subtraction every single time. So let's do that right now. 10, 8, and then 6, and then 4, and then 2. And we are going to get a bunch of money. So 3, 2, 1, click. And we just got $200 just from mining that. So this, so this is the basics of a mining simulator game. If you want to learn how you can make this in Roblox Studio... Then make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. So newbie, how do we set this system up? It is pretty simple. First, go to game settings on the top of your screen over here and then go to security and then enable studio access to API services. Just enable that and click save. Now, you want to go to the description of this video and there will be a link to a Roblox model with www.roblox.com slash library, whatever. Just get the model and then head back to Roblox Studio. Now that you've got the model, you want to go to view at the top of your screen, click on toolbox over here then after you opened the toolbox we can go to inventory by pressing the four blocks over here click on that and then click on mining simulator newbie, newbie panther and then just click on ok and as you can see we got this beautiful or whatever this is um, you can click toolbox right now and now we can open this up. We see animation, replicated storage, server script service, starter GUI, starter pack, starter player scripts, and workspace. What we need to do now is we need to open animation. And we will see anim saves. And we open that too. And what we need to do, we want to go to the anim saves over here. And then we want to right click on pickaxe. And then press save to Roblox. And then just give it the name pickaxe because this is the animation we're going to use so uh, you have the beautiful mining animation uh, which uh, panther created uh, just click submit and then copy the id over here so this is my id my id is not going to work for you so just spam it whatever and then just click close and now we can delete this entirely because we don't need it anymore what we can do now is we see replicated storage. So open it up and we see remotes and we see debound, subtract health and update GUI. Just drag remotes into replicated storage and delete the folder. Server skip service, drag it into server skip service and delete the folder. Start your GUI, same story. Start your pack, same story. Drag it in, delete the folder. Uh, this one is kind of tricky. If you don't know where start your player scripts is, if you open start your player, you will see starter player scripts. And then just drag it in. Like that. Delete the folder and workspace. Just put it in workspace. Delete, delete. So this is how you set up the entire system. The scripts we need to script are server and client. Those are the only two scripts we're going to have to script for uh, to make this tutorial work. And then to make sure you have the pickaxe animation working... Uh, we open the pickaxe and we see pickaxe animation and uh, change these numbers the one two six seven whatever to your id and press enter that's all you have to do to load the animation now we're going to script the scripts server and client we're going to be scripting those now so make sure you keep up join the discord if you need any help my team will help you out um, with pleasure and they will help you out gladly uh, just join the discord if you need any help and uh, make sure you keep up you're doing awesome and enjoy
So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You have done absolutely great. Now we have entered the recap section of this tutorial. And you're probably wondering, newbie, what is that? So in the recap section, I will be explaining uh, some of the code, most of the code, so you guys can actually learn something from it. We're going to start off with the server script. We are just getting some um, some services, players, replicated storage, and server storage. We're, we're going to need data store service so we can save data. We need a data store for that. And over here, we are getting one. We are referring to replicated, replicated storage.remotes. We are making an empty debounce table per server. Uh, when the game gets told to subtract health from the, um, from the ores, we're going to check if you can. So if you're not on a cooldown. And if you're not on a cooldown, we're going we're gonna to give you a cooldown. We're going to change the health. Um, if the health is, uh, or if, if it's like the last hit of the ore, we're going to give you the reward for it. And we're going to be destroying the ore. And after a second, you can uh, hit again. When we ask the server to send back whether the player can click or not, uh, we just check if their cooldown is uh, false. And if it's false, then we're going to return true, as in yes, we can click. And else, we're just going to say nope, we can't. When you join the game, we're going to give you leader stats and money. We're going to load your money, and we're going to set your debounce to false. When you leave the game, or when the game gets shut down, we are saving everyone's data. In the client script, we're going to need three services, players, user, input service, and replicated storage. We're getting the player, the character, the humanoid, the humanoid root part, the player, GUI, the GUI, the holder frame, remotes, tool, animator, animation, and animation track, camera, and current object. That was a lot of variables, uh, but they are very self-explanatory. When we update the GUI, we're going to check if um, if your uh, mouse is on an OR or not, if it's on an OR. And uh, if it's not, we're just going to do nothing. If it is, we're going to enable the GUI. We're going, we're going to let the game know, um, you know, just to set the UI. Because if we go to the UI really, really quickly, this is the UI, as you can see. And we're just going to tell the game to load it up. When you, ho uh, when you hover over a part, which is uh, in the ORS folder, we are going to give it a selection box so it's like highlighted. And when you move away from it, we're going to destroy that. Uh, we need a calculation to see if you're uh, el eligible for um, hitting it and uh, reaching it and whatever. Uh, 15 studs is the distance. We're going to check if you can. And if you can, we're going to return true. And else, we're just gonna, going to return false. Ray cost, we're just going to check where your mouse position is. And if your mouse position is on uh, an OR, as you can see, we're going to check if it's in the ORS folder. Then we're going to give you a selection box. And if it's not, we're going to remove the selection box. When the game gets told to update the GUI from the server, we're, gonna just, we're just going to do that. When you move your mouse around, we're going to check for um, a, if you're holding a tool or a... Uh, if you're holding a tool with a health subtraction value. And if you do, we're just going to remove every single selection box just in case. And we're going to tell the game to uh, check for the mouse position to see if it's on an OR or not. And if that's, not the, if that's not the case, we're just going to remove every selection box possible. When you click on the tool, we're going to get your distance. And if the distance is enough, so if it's within 15 studs, then we're going to play the animation and we're going to subtract the health value from that ore. And of course, when you unequip the tool, we're going to remove the UI. So that was all of the coding done for the tutorial, all of the explaining. This was the tutorial. Now we have entered the testing section. And this is the most interesting part of every single tutorial. Newbie, does it work? We're going to find that out right now. And my studio refuses to load. Roblox, fix your game, please. Your game is uh, sometimes pretty bad. It's just refusing to load. It is absolutely horrifying. And there goes my studio. Apparently, my studio fixed itself. We're going to play again. And hope it works this time. Now it works. Thank you, Roblox. Now we're in our little game with the pickaxe. And let's see if it works. 3, 2, 1, boom. Emerald, bronze, diamond, coal, diamond, gold. What do we have more? Bronze, diamond, coal. And now we can just mine it. So let's mine some gold. Boom, 2, and 2, boom, 6, 4, 2, and give me some money. Boom, $75 in the bank. Now, let's try this one. Coal is pretty easy to mine. As you can see, boom. We could easily mine coal. 
So let's do that. Boom, coal, boom, and boom, coal. We could just dig down, as you can see, dig and dig. And now let's mine this emerald one. So let's uh, 25 health. That is a lot. Let's mine bronze in the meantime too. Boom and boom. Okay, and now we can do this one. So let's see, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. 3, okay, and bronze, money. Oh, as you can see, and emerald, boom, we get some money. As you can see, this is just how you make a simple mining simulator game on Roblox. If this video helped you out, make sure to support me by giving a like on this video if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, become a member, join my Discord, do anything you want to support me. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.